And John, welcome good. to these press conferences. How you doing? You doing good. Um, just kind of reflect on your first season at UCF. You you came in. I know there was an expectation that you were going to you know get some playing time and kind of learn your way. You certainly did that. What what's got your takeaway from your first season of college football? Uh, my first season, it was like a learning experience for real because uh, you know we going against you know uh, you know a higher level of players. So I feel like it was just a learning season for me. John, was there a moment last year like that all of a sudden it just kind of hit you like, man, I'm, we're, we're playing Big 12 football, we're playing, I'm playing at this elite level. Was there a moment that maybe it kind of struck you when that happened? Uh, when we went against Kansas State, you know, away over there, you know, that was, I, that, that's when I really felt like, dang, I'm playing in the Big 12, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that's when it really struck me for real. So, John, from that perspective, you had your playing in the Big 12, playing at that higher level we were talking about. Now that you're there, you're kind of comfortable with it. Relatively accepted as your, um, what's the thing you're focused on to get better? What, what's y'all want to do now to be better? Uh, uh, to be better than last year, you know, to work on the little things, really. Just uh, my get off, uh, just my hand placement, and, you know, just really little things. Ain't, ain't too much I got to change. It's just little things, really. You got two vets in the room with you, and Lee yeah. Hunter and Ricky Barber. What have they really helped you uh, in your development? Uh, just, you know, you could tell they're really coachable guys, you know, just really coachable and you know they're really professional you know going in the training room and you know getting recovery and just you know any, any little thing they need to work on they go they go and uh, work on it you know and that's when I just pick up from them you know. So furthering on that we talked to those guys throughout last year about working with you so the inverse of that what do you feel like you learned most from them or some, uh, some tips or some you know some valuable information you picked up from some of those guys? Uh, it's just like the little things uh, like the angles of like when we run our stunts and just like it's really all about angles for real and just who who gets off the ball first really. John, how much does it mean to you being a hometown hero or Orlando kid? And then when you look around, you got guys like Kevin Call and Akai Martinez, Braden Marshall that you played with on, on, against on Friday nights, but now you guys are coming in to compete together on Saturday. How how does that make you feel? Uh, it, man, it's, it's cool because you know I went against uh you know those guys. Well, I should have went against Kevin and uh, Nakai, but you know rain, rain delayed the coach. You know they get, oh. you know they quit. And, you know they they so they ran away from you. Yeah, they ran away. Osceola is a tough place to play. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, but you know those guys, you know they're really cool. You know I, they're really good guys. You know I met them last year, and uh, came and called Brandon Marshall. Uh, you know I, they were they were my roommates, so you know I got really close with them. You know we built a bond, and you know those are my dogs now, man. Yeah. John, what was your favorite moment of your first year of football, of college football? Uh, my favorite moment, just the atmosphere and just like you know the game day routine. It's really cool, it's nothing like that. Was there a game that kind of stands out for maybe where maybe things started to click for you more, where you felt like you were getting more comfortable? or? Uh, towards like the end of the season, really. That's when I stopped to like starting really feeling like more comfortable, but yeah. You talked a little bit about him being back in the summer, uh, Derek LeBlanc. Uh, now you get to like actually play with him this year. What excites you about that? Obviously you guys played. Uh, I knew Derek since elementary school, so like and I played with him in high school and little league. So uh, you know, I was really you know excited when he came to UCF because you know I, I get to play with him again, and we're just gonna grow and get better with each other. As far as the defensive ends go, working next to those guys, what have you noticed in the first few days about you know Caden Call, Isaiah Nixon, guys are growing into uh, bigger roles than we're in the graduate class. Oh, you could tell they want it, you know, they try and get better, they try and find a way to grow and just compete and just find a way to get on that field early. John, can you talk about that switch? I mean, when you talk, uh, you kind of look at you up here, uh, calm, cool, you know, but when you get on that field, you're one of the nastiest football players I've ever seen from the high school level on up. Like, talk about that switch. Like, what is it about it where you can be this calm, but then when you put the pads on, you just like a monster? Man, when I get on the field, I just let all my energy loose. And afterwards, I be tired, so I just be <laughs> really just chilling. You know, I don't got to do too much. Just be chilling. Yeah. So, they always talk about, you know, players will make the most improvement from their first year to the second year. So, I mean, this is a big year for you, your second year. What do you want to accomplish? What are your goals for this year? Uh, obviously to win the Big 12 championship uh, and just to do better than last year. What about you, you're personally playing D-tackle? Uh, personally, you know, I want to, you know, be an All-American again and, you know, just keep on working and just work on the little things, really.
that was a big honor for you being a freshman yeah. All-American. What, what did that mean to you to get that award? You know, I've been, you know, wanting that since high school. So I just had that on my head and just, you know, been working and so I could, like, you know, reach that goal. How do you go about doing that? What do you think is your focus to do? Knock back. You just need to knock back. You get knocked back and set the point of the tab and you can get straight. You get a schedule this year where you get to play some teams like Colorado here, you go to Florida. What does that mean for you as, as a, a local player to get an opportunity to play some big programs and even even like to play at Florida here in state? You know, I was a Florida fan when I uh when I was little. Uh, so it was gonna be cool, you know, playing over there. And you know, just that atmosphere, you know, Florida atmosphere is crazy over there. But you know, playing over there and playing Colorado over here is gonna be crazy because you know, it's gonna be so much hype. So like, that's why I have fun. You know, see your Florida fans, you got like all the gear, all the little kids. Yeah, I had, a, yeah I, had, I had all the gear. You know, I had to get rid of that when I committed over here. You know, I so then I had to go out the goodwill when you're. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah but, yeah, uh, talking about that, obviously Florida was big in your recruitment. A lot of their fans didn't take too kindly to you sticking with your commitment to UCF. Yeah. Is that another added motivation that like, their fan base is? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, it was actually Ohio State, though. And when Ohio State was talking about, they was, like, talking about my mom, just saying that my mom chose like chose my decision and stuff like that, but it was really my decision. But you know, Florida fans, uh, they was really they they was, they was good people. They good people. Uh, I really didn't get too much hate, you know. Uh, uh, well, well, not what I see, but I really said Ohio State was the one that. I guess maybe that hate stayed on the message boards. Yeah. Didn't get into Twitter. <laughs> yeah, but. Um, what, what is it like? I'm sorry. You're following along those lines. What is it like? You talked a little bit about this, but what does it mean as a, as a local player to play for this team and see how Coach Balzan is, is recruiting these, these local guys? You guys that you maybe grew up going up, you know, going up against, you saw behind you. What's it like to know you, that his focus is, is local? Because really, 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 really. to be honest, you don't got to go too far to grab talent. You know, all the talent is around here. So why not just keep the local guys here and, you know, and just build up our foundation and just, you know, grow and be, you know, the You see a lot of those kids today that a lot Yeah, a lot of them. I mean, does it, does it give you guys a, little, guys a little extra pep in your step to know you got young guys maybe watching you just to kind of yeah, see what's like? Yeah, you know, actually, I want to I wanna guess some of those guys that were, you know, <laughs> yeah. on that team when they were like sophomores and I was a senior and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's just cool to see all of them out there, you know, and just telling them, you know, this is the school you need to be at. You don't got to go far to, you know, play somewhere. This is where it's at. That's all I have to say. Speaking about someone that you played against at some point in high school, Jason Johnson, what's it like to been, see him just blow up during this first week of uh, spring practice? I know he's working with the ones today. Yeah, uh, man, he... He, he's doing good, man. He's working, you know. He, he could tell he wants it, and you know he's gonna be, he's gonna have a good season. And uh, starting more on that point, you have three DBs all from Orlando, mm -hmm. or like the Orlando area, that are working with the ones. Yeah, is that something that's exciting you? Or? Yeah, that's really exciting. You know, seeing them young guys, you know, getting in there early and working, and competing. Cause, you know, really, they're supposed to be in high school still and finish the second part of the semester. But you know, they're here working. And you know, just trying to get better and be on that field and help the team. Oh, What's that like? You know, it's from like the offensive line. You know, there's a couple of new guys, you know, walk players, an exciting player. Yeah. Uh, what have you noticed from them? I just noticed that they want to, uh, you know, compete and get better. And you know, we just helping each other. You know, we ain't we ain't going out there just wasting the day. You know, we we're competing and we're just trying. We, we know what's our end goal. We know we want where we want to be at. So. You really just compete every time you hit the field. Yeah. I know Walt Claire was like a big, like, yeah. he was 
big into competing with you during his uh, recruitment. He was big into like I want to play John Walker. Yeah, actually, yeah, actually. Uh, when it was like during workouts, you know, he just pulled me to the side. He just wanted to do like some, you know, pass rush fits. You know, with no pass, so you know that's what we did. We went to the side, you know, just did some pass rush fits, so he could like you know get the feel of you know a college D line, D line and how they move. So, yeah. What's it for you to like feed that guy for someone? Obviously, it's cool because you know you could tell that he really wants to learn and really wants to like you know get on that field early. So it's really cool helping him out. I don't mind helping him because you know you could tell he really wants it.